Mike Westhoff has uh, been with us before and uh, very strong opinions on, obviously, special teams. Um, Saints special teams coach who joins us now. Uh, coach, walk us through this new proposed kickoff rule. Uh, who's it going to affect the most? That's a good question, Dan. Who's it going to affect the most? I, I think you're going to see, at the end of the day, uh, I, I think I think you're going to see more returns than we have in the past. I think you're going to see more. You, you'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. The idea, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, was to, is to slow down the collision, the proximity. So what they're doing, you know, they've done two things. One, number one, when they, you're going to kick off from the 35, the same. The coverage team, the coverage team has to be evenly distributed, spaced out. You can't overload things like that. So they're even and spaced out, but they have to be lined up a yard from the ball. So they're lined up at the 45, or excuse me, 34 yard line. And they can't move until the ball's kicked. So they're not going to have a real full head of steam going down the field. Now, the return team then, you have a 10-yard restraining line. The return team within the next 10 yards has to line up eight players. So the idea of it is, is that they would take their blocks on in a closer proximity. There is no more wedge. You cannot double team with a front line guy and a back guy like we used to do you can't do that so they're going to eliminate they're going to slow that down some but the idea of the whole thing is to make the play safer i think i think it's gotten a little bit out of whack yep. with this with the statistics with injuries because last year there were 18 concussions on kickoffs they used the percentage only on the returns well there was a million balls that were touchbacks so i want to see it used on the whole play totally the play is not a, a, you know, it's a violent play, but it can be made safer and we can use our heads. They're trying to do that. This is a step in the right direction. I don't think it's perfect, but I do like it. And I think it's a step in the right direction. They're trying to do this. But Mike, is there any downside to this? Yeah, there's some, there is some downside. There's some downside to the fact of exactly how is this all going to uh, take place, you know, who, how exactly, the, you know, to how it's going to be officiated and to make sure that they've got this perfect because you're not allowed as a frontline guy to move forward when the ball's kicked in the air. You can't go forward and hit anyone. So there's going to be a little bit of gray area there. I think it'll be worked out, and, and I think they'll, they'll take place. So they'll, they'll have that figured out. See, what I wanted to do when I proposed it back in 2010, I took this into the NFL office and drew this up, actually, and we proposed it. I wanted to kick off from the 25-yard line, but I wanted the blocks to have to be taken on before you got to the 50. So I definitely wanted to make sure that the blocks were taken on in a closer proximity, more like a punt return than a true kickoff return where we had the big collisions. And I'll take a lot of that responsibility because I think I had a lot to do with that double teaming and trapping, and we were pretty darn successful doing it. But that, that's, where, that's where the violence to the play came in. So there's some gray areas to be worked out, and I think I had a long talk with Troy Vincent the other day, but I do like the fact that they're trying to keep a play yeah. but yet make it safer. They're really trying. But if I ask the players and just let the players vote on this, what are the players voting on? That's a good question. Depends on who you ask. All of them. The the whole league, not I just not just special to, teamers, but I if I did just special teams guys, both sides. They're going to they're gonna vote to keep the play. They're going to keep it if you can make it a little safer, fine. But I think most of the guys like the play. I like the idea. I like the idea of not making the game singular. I don't want the game to all be about just a quarterback. I want the game to be about a whole football team that has a chance to help them win the football game. They're eliminating a lot of special teams plays. Yeah. If this play's eliminated, you'll see a reduction in roster within a couple of years. I'm telling you right now, I don't care what anyone else says. That's going to happen. I don't, that's why I don't want it to happen. But yet, I don't think you have to throw it out. There's a lot of people that would take it out. They truly don't understand it. I only coached 31 years in the NFL, <laughs> and I never used the term wedge buster in my life. I never asked anyone to run down and run into the front of a pickup truck. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. That, so those things get thrown out of whack. There's a, there, there is a violence to the play, but yet there's also a violence to the quarterback throwing the ball across the middle of the field and setting the wide receiver up. I mean, come on. We have to all work together to help make this the team sport that I think is so great. And there, it's not the easiest now. I'm not, I, don't have, you know, I don't have a perfect answer, but we're headed. I think, I think this is a step in the right direction. But, Coach, what about the onside kick? 
There's no okay. running start. That really We're, takes away your advantage. Okay, only there's no running start. In other words, you can't go up and block it if the ball is kicked in the air, which is really interesting. Don't don't think for a second that I, I as a coach, haven't been talking with the guys because I'm still in, I'm in Florida. I am had to rehab for a surgery I had before I go back. I'm on the phone every day. We're practicing all this stuff. I put it all in. I'm already, already practicing everything as to how to do these things differently. You're not going to see the overloaded onside kick because – the uh, coverage team has to remain a particular spacing. So it's going to change the strategy and the methodology of onside kicking. It's going to be interesting to see who comes up with their best plan and how, who figures it out. That's a real challenge for a coach. Trust me, I've already done a heck of a lot of drawing trying to figure this one out, uh, of trying to get ahead of this. And that, this is all going to be part of it. You will not see it the same as it was, but also you won't see that, you know, that kick right into the ground the big high way up in the air and everybody's, you know, jamming each other into a pile. You're not going to see that. It'll be a little different. It'll be very interesting to see how it is. You want me to hit somebody right now, Mike? <laughs> no, it's part of football. But at the same time, you know, you, I, I always taught you play, you play below the shoulders and above the knees. And we're not interested in some cheap shot. I, I took great pride in how physical the teams that I coached are, but yet I take no pride in a cheap shot and knocking the heck out of somebody and thinking that's the way the game should be played. You've got to do this right. This is a tough sport. It's not for everybody. But at the same time, you know, we can make it a little bit safe, and I think this is a step to make it safer. Is it perfect? I don't know, Dan. I'm not sure of that, but I know it's headed in the right direction, a lot better than, than just put it out and play flag football. They're doing that in the fifth grade. Coach, thanks for joining us. We appreciate okay, your time. Thanks for asking me, and I appreciate your talking about it. It's an interesting subject. That's uh, Mike Westoff, the Saints special teams coach. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.